So the time has yeah. come. goes in the pot. Now I'm cooking it in a pot to keep the spitting down because I'm frying it in a little bit of olive oil and butter. Now uh, it's starting to, to, to weep just a little bit of moisture which is slippy because it's been in the uh, the fridge for a few days because I've been waiting for my camcorder to come but the camcorder is being delayed and so now um, without any further ado I'm going to to put it in the pot and so now when I'm washing this cap I can feel that there is um, a slippiness to it I guess like um, many mushrooms when it's slippery when wet and so there we have it now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, slice a sliver of butter and I think that will be more than enough and put it in the pot along with a little bit of olive oil and start that going whilst I uh, prepare this a little bit and so I think prudence would dictate that I take that bit off and when we look at it we can see that it's a beautiful perfect mushroom now apparently the good thing about these bullets is that they don't in actual fact get uh, a lot of maggots and because I think it's going to be such a wonderful experience, and apparently it is, I'm not going to waste even this bit here. And so I'm going to take off the roots and that earthiness to it. Ouch! Okay. And I'm going to put those in the pot as well. Now, there's a little bit there. What's that blackness? Ah, oh, just a bit of that. It looks like one of these um, beautiful, kind of like fairy tales mushrooms, which Shrek would live in. You know, is this Shrek's house? Who lives in a house like this? You know, there's something magical, people. That's what's going on here. This is an alien. I wish, you know when we, um, we put uh, photos up for our YouTube, we, we get a selection of three to choose from, and they're, they're randomly shot, and invariably I'm like this, or something, and I've got to pick the best of a bad bunch. But um, on uh, Odyssey, you could scroll through the whole, whole video and pick whatever shot you wanted to. And so, I'll pick that one. That to me, that, that's just a dream, that is. That is wonderful. You know, you can even eat these raw. And the next time I find one, I will. But for today, what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to slice it straight down the middle. And so we can see that it's absolutely pure inside. And then we get this contrast. And then I'm going to put them in the pan. I think that's going to be an experience, people. So whilst that's doing that, what I'm going to do is because um, one of the viewers, a long-term viewer, has requested that I 
tell you guys about the supplements I take, but I've done this a lot of times before, but I just want to do it again. But so, down here, uh, first and foremost, I have here honey. And I use honey every day in these chamomile drinks that I drink, and I'm going to make one of those now for you. Then I have the, the flakes of uh, crushed chilies, which also go in here. So in here, in these, I've got uh, two teaspoons of chamomile flour. And you buy that off the internet. Then I put seven shakes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, in there because that adds a bit of spice and then I'm going to put um, a lemon in and the ginger um, but uh, in this one here I have my creatine powder which is um, a training supplement it just uh, volumizes um, the muscles a little bit it holds a bit of water it holds the pump basically and it gives you a little bit more strength now She's doing over there. Uh, Optimen, which is a um, multivitamin for the over 50s. Uh, glucosamine sulfate, which is for your joints and your cartilages. Uh, Omega 3, uh, essential fatty uh, fish oils, essential. Turmeric, magnesium glycinate, vitamin C with zinc and iron. And vitamin D, of course, everybody was uh, raving about this during the um, uh, recent times because these two things were very, very important to stave that off. Uh, this is the drink, uh, what I make. I make two glasses of this each day, um, and it's absolutely superb. Uh, here is my varying strains of Kratom. This is um, just my Indonesian uh, tea. Um, which isn't tea, it's Kratom. But the sellers have to say tea to get round some of the silly laws. And um, because in some countries, they want to ban it because it alters your state of consciousness very mildly. And what it's like is when you have like a, a slightly beveled teaspoon of that, it's like having, uh, say, a half a glass of wine. It puts you in a state. And you can, you can do everything on it. It's perfectly um, a beautiful thing, it's natural. Now you can see here we've got some tannins coming out of this. Oops. Um, which um, looks a little bit golden. And so I think what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to see, because I've not done one of these before, Wow, now then, we can see that that is um, nice and crisp on the bottom. And in view of the fact that you can eat these um, when they are raw in any case, I'm going to taste that. Go right. Now when you cut through here, you can see um, this is the pores. This is where normal mushrooms have gills. Mm. This is um, cooked just enough. It isn't as good as the puffball. The puffball was amazing. Sweet, succulent, very omelette -y, only tasting better than omelette. And by the time you've got the, um, the goldenness of the burnt butter on the base,
I mean, it tastes slightly mushroomy. The outer wall is a little bit crunchy. Bye bye Shrek's house. A perfect addition to many foods. If they were abundant, they'd be very versatile. They taste actually very similar to the regular mushroom that we buy in the supermarkets. And so that was a nice experience. The next experience I'll have of this mushroom is eating it raw out in the field. And then, like lots of mushrooms, I wouldn't start jumping up and down excitedly upon finding them for the culinary experience. But to find them for the magical mystery, fairy tale kind of thing that they bring about, that for me is the joy. But um, as far as the eating experience, I am much more partial to the puffball and excited about finding another one of those because just to slice them through and fry them in butter and I think what I'll do is next time I'll, I'll fry an egg and place that on top like uh, we do eggs on toast. Mm. So, this ginger, a big lump like this, cut off, of course, all the outer extremities, and fresh ginger is a remarkable herb or fruit, whatever you call it. Anytime anybody has any gastric problems, then ginger settles the stomach. And when I take my creatine supplement, that white powder has a propensity to make me feel a little bit queasy for about 20 minutes after I've took it. But what I've discovered now is when I take it with my potion in the morning, then I don't get any queasiness at all. And now people, when they take um, certain psychedelics and they say, oh, you know, the psychedelic itself is all right, but you've got to get over the first half an hour where you feel like vomiting. Well, uh, if you take ginger, then that, in lots of people's experiences, gets over that problem. So I put the ginger in there, along with the lemon. And I, I pour the boiling water into the, the, um, the chamomile and let that steep for uh, 15 minutes. Then what I do is, here I have lime flowers, lime tree flowers, and the bracts, the little like, leaf that is attached to the flower. You pick all that and you dry them out and uh, it's not necessary to, um, to, to put them in the blender like I have done, but it just reduces the bulk. 
And what I do, I, I put two uh, heat teaspoons uh, in a large uh, saucepan like this and fill it up about that deep, uh, pour boiling water into it. And then after about 20 minutes, you'll see um, that the, the liquid goes a golden yellow, in actual fact. I don't think it's gonna to take too long. What we'll do, we'll boil up that, because I need to do some more in any case, because then what I do is, as soon as I've got a batch of it, I put them into uh, ice cube um, freezing containers. And, okay, as it happens, I have the last ones and so what I do is, is I pop two of these into the, well four of them actually, uh, two for each glass. I'll put these um, on top of this uh, and then once the uh, chamomile has steeped then I'll pour this into the chamomile, stir it around let it steep for another five minutes and then Run it for a, a tea strainer until you've got just the, uh, the, the the drink without all the bits in. And the reason why I do this is simply for ease, because then I've got the, the measured amount for every morning. So I'll do that and I'll leave that overnight. That allows the, the ice cubes to thaw and then in the morning I've just got the solution there. And uh, when the ice cubes thaw, it, 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 the cold water goes down over the lemon and the, the ginger and stops it from drying out. So uh, that's achieved quite a few objectives. And then getting the saucepan out, and I'm going to put two teaspoons okay. so quite a lot because what what happens is when you put this in here there's a lot of oil that comes out of these flowers and if you don't water it down adequately then it's very slimy and like honey mm. and smelling that it's uh smelling the vapor come up from there it's like lemony and we stir that and we see it go a beautiful golden colour starting to go already yeah and you can see the consistency of the water already is like getting thicker getting more oil like syrupy see how it's moving now it's moving like it's a thicker consistency isn't it and you can see it's getting more and more golden. So I'll generally leave that for about half an hour to ensure that I extract every last bit of all the goodness from those lime flowers. Now, when you go online and you listen to people speaking about doing this, uh, they'll tell you much more about the benefits of the actual nutrients of these flowers and there's a lot of stuff that people have used for all different sorts of health benefits and so um, I thought well in the summertime I'll have a bunch of those and unfortunately the, 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 the batch I uh, f foraged was right at the end of the, the, the flowering season. And so 
I missed out on, on gathering the right big bunch up to last me through uh, the winter period. But I've experienced it now and I, and I know that it's a food source which is very beneficial. And, oh, this is the main thing about it. What this stuff does, if you just drink the tea uh, on its own, it acts kind of like this Kratom that I take. It's a mild sedative. It chills you out. And so, when I have put this in the Kratom, then I go into a bit of a, a cosy cotton wool type bubble thing. And if I'm like editing all day long, then uh, it's a breeze to do that. I'm not restless. I don't want to go and do this and do that and keep having lots of breaks. I've got the tenacity and staying power just to stay with it because I'm just in the zone. And so lots of you guys might like it for that reason. If you're concerned about taking Kratom, like some people are because it's just not on the shelf in Tesco, you know? So, here now, we can see that it's more golden. And becoming more syrupy. So what I omitted to mention is that I will pour a teaspoon of honey uh, into both of these drinks. So after this is steeped, I will put the, um, the ginger, the lemon and the lime leaves in it, leave that to steep. Then when I've strained it with a tea strainer, I'll put a, 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 a teaspoon of honey in. So I've got all this stuff. I've got the chamomile, which chills you out. I've got the lime leaves, which chills you out. I've got the honey, which has lots of nutrients in it and very beneficial. I've got the, um, the, uh, the cayenne pepper, uh, which is very beneficial for health. Um, the lemon, um, which is the vitamin C and all the, the, the positive stuff that goes with um, drinking or consuming fruit and lemon, citrus, you know, on, on a daily basis. Um, you know, I lost this stuff. It's been a long time since so I've looked into uh, what the precise benefits were. I did it years ago, and so I don't find it necessary to, to you know, uh, retain all the, the details and it's like with these supplements originally I read up all about them what they do and then I decided that's for me that's what I'll have now for the rest of my life and so this is about 15 years ago I started on these supplements and I've been doing them ever since and uh, so when you look at me now with all my teeth I've only lost one tooth and that's back here other than that, they're all mine, and this is all mine, and uh, a little bit of grey here and there, no problem, got a bit of muscle on me still for an old one. So I'm 60 years old in two months time, and um, you may have seen the muscle shot already because I did the video in the gym, just a little bit, just to every now and again, I like just to see uh, what's happening to the old man, and he seems to be in fine shape by the way. So stir that um, a little bit more and leave it to steep and then what I'll do is I will pour it into the ice cube uh, boxes and then freeze them down. Also very important, one Newcastle Brown a day. Keeps any number of demon away. So time to um, tidy up um, the, um, what do they call the kitchen on, on, a, on a ship? It, the galley. Yes, yeah, the galley, isn't it? Gotta tidy up the galley. Aye, aye, shipmate. Aye, aye, captain.